Hi, in this video I want to give you a short overview on how to work with sound slice. First of all, um, the appearance of the music. Let's have a look at this. You need to find the settings menu, which is on the three dots here. It's, of course, on any every device it's a kind of different, but you should look to the three dots and you find the settings. First of all, we have to zoom the music in. We can zoom it in and out. We zoom as much as possible so that we can see the music, right? Next thing is respect also stays break. It's very important because I arranged the music in a logical kind of way. So, you know, if I de-click this and you see the, the co new chorus starts in the middle, that's not what I want. Next is you can hide, of course, notation. You can hide the lyrics, so you just have the chords and stuff like this. This is just you can play around with. This is not so important now. You can transpose the sheet, but the sound will get worse because it's an audio file and they don't like too much transposing. This is as well clear. You can have a light stream or dark. Dark is maybe if you like it. I won't. I don't. The next thing is important. It's a playhead style. So you, you can have, as, as you can see here, wait a moment. You can see we have a line and we have an out line of the whole bar so we can disable this here and we can change this to whatever we want i prefer the line which is most clearly and you can highlight the current notes when i play this music you will see that the notes are highlighted of course you can disable this <laughs> Um, there's one thing, one more important thing, if you click on more, it's important to have the play it in the middle of the screen. That's the best feature to, to see the music in an optimal way. So, next is um, the metronome. You can have a metronome with the music. I mean, you have the drums, you won't need it, but you can if you want. Let's see. We have a count in. This is important when we work right now. So, because you have a count in, I count the music in. So you won't need this. Okay, next. This is all on this this side. So we close it. Okay, now let's see the the most important feature and the best feature of this um, application is to work with loops. So if I want to create a loop, I click anywhere and then click on the loop button and you can do this with the fingers on, on mobile devices as well. So let's say I want to just loop this. As you can see, it just loops the piece of music I selected. Mm. You can do this with a count in as well. And you see, on any loop, every, every loop, uh, it, it makes a new count in. You can disable this just before playback. I disable it, um, you will see later. Um, the next thing is, let's say we, we have a, go over here and create a loop. So now you can change the tempo, of course. So let's play it. But the real 
powerful thing is the speed training. So if I go to speed training, there are some values I want to show you. The initial speed is the speed, the lowest speed you start, let's say 50%. I want to end on 100%. And I want to increase the speed not by 10 because this is far too much, let's say 5. And I just want to play every loop one once. So the the smaller this value is, the smaller this could be. If you have 10% here, you should at least play each loop two times or three times. Play a count in before each loop. We won't do this because you see what happens is... will um we won't flow if we are stopped uh, so um what i can do is disable it and now it's a bug in the app i think you have you don't have any count in if i uh, enable this which should work you will see it won't Now it does the same, does the same thing, um, which uh, what means before every loop. Let's do this again. So what we do is we start with no count in. So the first time we won't have a count in, but then it's it's better for the rest. indicates that we have the speed trainer on. To disable the speed trainer, just go to 100% again and it's disabled. Of course, every time you load the, the page new, you have to do the settings again. It won't save those seconds. Now it's saved, but if I reload the page, it's gone. Okay, the clips function is a paid function. I won't go into this. I mean, that it. Here you can just see the uh, scrolling behavior. Okay. On all of my material, every single song, you have at least two playbacks. You have a sample and you have a play along. So you can choose just listening and um, learn to how, how the sound should be and then change the play directly the way. I mean it's more the best way to practice I think. I've never seen anything similar like this where you can put your own music, right? And there's a TunePlay app, but I couldn't, I could not import my own stuff, so. Cool, I think that's all. If you still have questions, just contact me, have fun. Mm -hmm.